What's going on, guys and gals? My name's Sean, and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. What's going on, everybody? It's good to see you back. Now, I know you saw that thumbnail, and I know you know what happened the last time we tried one of these Groat guitars. And the reason you're looking at another one right now is because Groat reached out to me on Instagram. They said, look, man, there's no way our factory sent you a guitar with a single coil in it disguised as a humbucker. And I said, well, you're never going to convince me of that because I bought one myself. And that's exactly what I encountered. He said, man, let me make it up to you because we took that video of yours to heart and we fixed everything that you talked about in it. He said the new guitars just hit the Amazon warehouse and I want to send you one fresh from there just like any other customer would get. He said, and if you can find anything wrong with the guitar, please let me know because we're going to fix that too. And I said, well, in that case, I'll be more than happy to help you with that. Go on and send me one of them over here. And they did. And that's why I'm going to show you this. And what this is, is the first guitar on the channel for a review like this that I didn't pay for. See, what the guy told me was they took my video to heart and fixed everything. He wanted me to see for myself and put a video up if it was true. They said they fixed everything. Well, that top shore is pretty. I'm thinking that's printed for sure. And of course, it's got balled up fret ends. It's got the rounded edges on the blocks. I do that on some of my guitars, but I've never seen it anybody else. Somebody must be making those knobs cheap because I've seen them on a lot of these budget guitars lately. Now he swore to me, and it did say it came from Amazon, and the Amazon truck did bring this. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking that thing don't look too bad from first glance. And like I said, the guy told me he took my video to heart. And like I've said multiple times in the video, he told me they fixed everything. But guess what? I might not be from Missouri, but you still gotta show me. Now, any other time, we'd play this guitar a little bit unplugged first. But we're not gonna do that today. Today we're gonna tear right into this thing. What? Yes you are. You're gonna play that thing unplugged first, just like you always do. Okay, honey. We will. Nah, she don't know. We ain't gotta do that. She has no idea. <laughs> well, on second thought, why don't we just go ahead and uh, play it unplugged a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Man, this thing sure is pretty, ain't it? I'm loving it, man. But I'm a sucker for the blue. I got it tuned up. Let's hear what it sounds like. I don't hear any string buzz. Those bread and butter chords will tell you if it's intonated too. Yeah, somebody set this thing up. Now hang on just a dang minute. Man, that thing's playing killer. I'm bet you anything you want to bet. We're not going to find anything wrong with this guitar. And I don't think they made a ringer to send to me either. This came in an Amazon box from an Amazon truck. But we can't figure none of that out standing around here talking about it. So that's going to be enough flip flapping. Let's make it happen. All right, you know what time it is. Let's get these old strings off. I've been saving the strings. I won't make you watch these come off. All right, tailpiece first. What do we got? Now, I'm not going to say that's loose, but it's certainly not tight. Comes right off. What does it say? KD-EP-1? I don't know. I can't read it. Put it in the comments. Eh. Not super tight for sure, but not super loose. We've seen way looser than that. All right, let's check out the bridge. Comes right off. And it says KD2. I can read that one pretty good. Let's look at the post. Yep, 
super loose. Gro Y'all got to fix this. I mean, they need to redo these molds or something. Or whatever they're making these screws. But this is just insane. Now, this was recommended to me by one of you guys. We did it before. Worked great, so let's do it here. Yep, that snugs them things right up. Look at that. Now, Grote, this isn't an, an excuse. You guys need to fix that. Seriously. I'm just giving it one wrap. See? That's it. Now, I don't know if these humbuckers are single coils or not, but we show sure finna find out. For right now, let's take this plastic off of them. All right, I got this thing on the meter. Got it plugged in. It's on the treble pickup, which is the bridge. Let's turn it up. He's ringing in at about 11.4. Let's go to the middle. He's ringing in at about a 5.51. Now for you genius guys, I ain't talking about me, but for you genius guys, go ahead and put in the comments right now what you think the neck pickup's going to be. All right, let's do it. 10.67. 10.67. Now I don't know if that's good or not, but I ain't never seen no single coil reading in at 11 or 10. All right, let's pull these things out. All right, let's see what's under here. We've got their B for the bridge. Man, those soldering joints ain't too great. But we can clearly see there's another coil in there, can't we? So we don't have to take it apart, do we? Oh, yes. Yes. Absolutely, yes, we do. Let's crack these babies open. See if we can get this off of here without tearing up anything. And it is a humbucker. It's an ugly humbucker. <laughs> but it is a humbucker. I wonder what those are made of. 
does have a little weight to it. It was ringing in at over 11. But there it is. Humbuckers and the Groat guitar. They said that'll never happen again. I believe them. Just put some solder back in here. That looks better. Let's see if there's any surprises in the control cavity. Let's see what's in this guy. Same trash that's always in these things. I don't know why they wouldn't go ahead and put full size 500k pots in this thing. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, people would pay the extra 20, 25 bucks it would take to make that happen. All right, let's check the neck, see how level it is. Yeah, I mean, once the strain's going, it, it'll be just fine. Now for the moment of truth. A little grimy on that one, but no rock. So I guess it's safe to say already that these frets ain't rocking. Somebody did a fret job on this thing. And a pretty good one at that. But I'm going to show you something that they need to fix. I mean, all these balled up fret ends are great. I just need a little polish in here. Yeah, they're in there good. Yep. Yep, no rock on any of them. And really, there's no rock on them. Now, like I said, these balled up fret ends look great. You can clearly see how some of them come out to the edge and some just don't. And I realize it's because they probably put the frets on before or whatever. But that needs to be addressed. Some of them are even hanging over the edge. Look at that one. I can clearly feel that. And even though it's balled up, it's like a little speed bump. Alright, here we are with the Groat. I gotta say, I'm liking this one. <laughs> Boy, look at it. It's pretty, ain't it? Yeah, it's pretty. Now let's do this again. Let's talk real quick before we play it at all. Does it feel like a Gibson Les Paul? It doesn't even feel like an Epiphone. This feels like its own guitar. But let's go ahead and play it unplugged a little bit first. Yeah, them new strings make it sound a little better, don't it? I don't know, I'm just saying that to have something to say. Sounds pretty good though. Let's turn it up a little bit. sounds good in the bridge position. Let's try the middle. But 
Let's try the neck. Okay, now most of these cheap guitars have been lacking in the middle position, but I don't see nothing wrong with the pickup in this one. Let's play it a little more, see if you can tell me. So what are my final thoughts on this thing? This guitar I'm holding is a monster. Sounds good. Plays killer. Stays in tune pretty good. I'm going to have to swap the tuners out, but these pickups, I think I'm going to hold on to them for a little while. Yeah, it's a pretty good guitar, I got to say. But I also got to say that hardware for those bridges, bro, y'all got to fix that, man. That can't stay that way. Now, that's the only real problem that I found with the guitar. But like I said, I would go ahead and upgrade those pots, too. Guys would pay a little extra to have it done for them. Leave the pickups and tuners alone. Guys are going to choose their own preference for that. Me, if you put some lock and tuner on there, I'm going to take them off. I don't care what brand they are. I don't like lock and tuners. But that's what I'm trying to say. The tuners and the pickups, that's going to be preference for the person anyway that buys the guitar. But the hardware, the neck, the body, all that other stuff, that should be standard stuff that's ready to be, you know, used. And if just one of these companies could get that right, Man, they'd have it going on. Grote, I hope you're listening, and I hope it's you. That's going to be it for this one. But before we go, I want to say thanks to all the guys that became members of the channel. It means a lot. And I really appreciate all of y'all watching. And until next time, don't you touch my scar guitar.